All right, let me tell you about window swallowing. If you're still not sold on using DWM, hopefully this will convince you. Here's this annoying thing that happens on Linux that if, I mean, if you use Linux, you're probably used to it. I mean, it's not just Linux, but um, either way, window swallowing solves it, DWM solves it. Let me show you the issue. You're all, you've all seen stuff like this before. Here's the stuff in my home directory. Let's say I wanna open up, um, you know, this video here I have downloaded. Okay, so I'm gonna run MPV and then I'm gonna run it on that video. Okay, so what happens by default is that that window, that you know, video is gonna pop up, so it's in a, like a sep separate box. Uh, and over here we have this original window that was open and it's just like running nothing. I mean, I guess it has some information about the file, but like who cares about that? If I, wa if I wanna know where I am in the file, I can just, you know, see it in the video program. Um, so for those of you, uh, right now I'm actually running i3. I installed i3 just so I could show you this deficiency. It's totally deprecated because DWM has a way of dealing with this problem. Um, and actually it's even worse than you think because let's say, oh, I want to get rid of this terminal window. So I'm going to X out of it. That of course is going to X out of the uh, window as well, which is a big pain. Okay. Uh, other example, let's say I have a, um, you know, I have a JPEG file here. So I open it in my image viewer. Okay. So here's my JPEG file. Oh, it's one of those cute little retarded Pepe things. Okay. Either way, if I get rid of this window, which has literally nothing in it, in it, it's going to close out on my graphical window. It's just taking up space. I guess I could send it to another window or something. But I mean, the real way you're supposed to do it, uh, the inefficient way that you, I, you know I usually end up doing it if I have to work with i3, is uh, you'll use the set sid command. Okay, so set sid, give it the f option, then run the command you want. Okay, so let's say the video. And then it's gonna pop up. It still has this stupid window here, but you can at least X out of it, okay? Or you could run the same thing and echo the output to dev null, right? All of this is stupid. I'm telling you how to do this, assuming like maybe you already know about this, um, but it's just something you shouldn't have to deal with. So now let me show you the same problem, problem, but with the solution in DWM. Okay, so now I'm back in DWM. Let me show you how my DWM build will take care of the same problem. Nice and easy, okay? So again, we have these files. I'm gonna run exactly the same command, no set sidf, no piping that or uh, sending the output to dev null. I'm just gonna run it directly on this video file. What's gonna happen? It's gonna pull up the video file and it's gonna replace that terminal that was, it's gonna swallow up that terminal uh, that otherwise would be nothing. That's an automatic feature you can build into DWM, again, called swallowing. Let me run uh, that, uh, my image viewer on that image file and you will see that it does the same thing. Okay, and when I'm done with these things, let's say I quit out of the video, it actually, my terminal's still there. So if I wanna do something else in there, I can. Okay, same thing with this image file. Once I delete it, my terminal is still there. DWM has this swallowing ability you can work into it where you basically, you know, it, it sort of, I mean, in a way, it's actually very suckless because it gives sort of your terminal the ability to view videos, you know, in a way of looking at it, okay? So the uh, patch for it is on the uh, suckless's website. It's called uh, Swallow, as I said before. Uh, swallow, all right. Um, and this is, so far as I know, this is a really, I, I don't know any other window managers that can do something like this, uh, but this is an example of one of these features that, you know, you might not want to build into the default build of a, um, uh, of a window manager, but Suckless has this great ability since it's, you know, you're supposed to have your own build of everything. Oh, they can just put it up, up on their website and it's great. Um, so you can get the patch, run it on your build. I'm going to show you what I have in my build. Um, you basically have to say, if you go to your config.h, once you've patched it all in, um, you basically uh, give your terminal this value. So, you know, I'm using st as a terminal, uh, and you have to give it this value, and that basically means, um, you know, things should be swallowed from, like, if you run something from this program, it should swallow the program, okay? Um, and additionally, now, one exception, you can make exceptions to this as well. So, one, pretty good ex uh, exception, uh, like one program that you actually wanna see the output to is uh, Zev. Uh, so Zev, if you don't know, it's basically like an event handler. So if you like 
you know, type stuff on Zev on the left, which is just a blank white screen, it'll show you what's going on on the right. So it's a way to like test key presses and stuff like that. So you actually want to see, or your mouse moving around. So you actually want to see this output. Um, so in that case, you know, and this is like the only program that I, can, I can even think of where you actually don't want it to be swallowed. Uh, but basically what you do is um, this line right here, actually to be clear. So let me, uh, what you really want to do, so let's run Zev and you want to run xprop and click on Zev and it'll tell you its information, like its official window name is event tester. Well, then you just go here and you can put its title as event tester and say, oh, give it the no swallow, uh, A for, or A, one for no swallow, okay? So that's how you do it. So this is just a really sweet feature of DWM. Um, and I'm, I'm actually, the thing is most of my configs for most of my files, like let's say LF, my file manager, um, they're calibrated to have to work around the fact that, you know, you're gonna be bringing up, uh, let's say, um, okay, here's an example. Let's say I go to, uh, you know, this, this file, this image file or something like that and open it up. Now I have it so it automatically just covers up LF. Uh, you know, I just have LF created. Now, if you were doing this on i3 or another window manager, you would either have to put in set SID and then, you know, an and at the end so it doesn't, uh, so you can basically keep working on your terminal. You have to put all that junk in. But in this case, you can, again, it basically turns your terminal, it gives you your terminal in practice the ability to watch movies or, or, or uh, look at images and stuff like that without having to think about it. So it's one of those great features of, it, it really shows you the, the usefulness of, you know, the, I guess the, the suckless mindset or whatever. Okay, so that's about it. That's just a minor, this is just a minor thing I wanted to do a video on because it's a pretty cool feature. You should know about it. All right, so that's it. See you guys next time.